Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews from the Photoshop Elements team and in this session we're going to look at the Spot Healing Brush. I know that there's a lot of you out there who are great fans of the Spot Healing Brush and rightly so because we can take images like this one which is a scan of an old photograph with lots of tears and wrinkles and you can quickly and easily correct the problems associated with this image and create a much better version of this photo as we can see here. But perhaps you haven't realized, but in Photoshop Elements 9, when we go to the Spot Healing Brush, we now have three different types of Spot Healing Brush that we can work with. If you look up in the Options bar, we have Proximity Match, which is the mode that most of you will be using for your retouching. We also have Create Texture, which is really good when you're applying the Spot Healing Brush to a broad area of texture and you just want to recreate the texture that's there. Something like sand in, on a beach or pebbles on a beach would work particularly well with this option. And then we have a brand new option here called Content Aware. So let's look at how Content Aware works with our retouching. I'm just going to jump back to the before image and zoom in a little bit. I'm going to go grab the zoom tool and just drag into this corner here and you'll see some of the problems that we need to rectify with this photo. Let's go back to the spot healing brush. Make sure that content aware is turned on and we can adjust the size of our brush tip using the left square brackets to make it smaller and the right square brackets to make it bigger. So we can just tap over a problem area and we'll be able to remove that. Remember the characteristics of your brush tip are also reflected in the spot healing brush itself. So if we select a soft edged brush like this one, when we go and tap over an area, then the changes will tend to be blended more easily in the background. You may need to ensure that you're completely covering that area though, as the soft edge can sometimes leave part of the retouching area exposed. So you can see how quickly and easily we can go through and make changes. So what is the difference between Content Aware and the other options that we have available already? Well the main difference is that the new mode for the Spot Healing Brush is more aware of the types of surrounds, the details, the textures that are around the area that you're working on. So you will get a more intelligent retouching of the areas that you're working on. And that's not to say it's a fix-all which will automatically understand and correct all of the problems that you can see in your image, but it does give you an extra tool in your kit bag to enable you to make some fantastic corrections to your photos. So you can see here how we've been able to really remove all of those problem areas and provide a very seamless reconstruction of what should have been in the background of this picture before we had the wrinkles and the problems that were there. But let's look at another example just to show you some of the power that we have with this tool. This is a wedding photograph and it's a great captured moment where the bride and her father are walking towards the wedding ceremony but there's a couple of little distracting bits in the background. You'll notice if we just jump in here with the zoom tool we've got a ladies sign for the ladies toilets or restrooms in the background and we also have on the other side of the girl's head we have a light sitting in the background there as well. So let's look at what we can do with the spot healing brush now but with something that's more specific or perhaps more difficult to get rid of than just a mark. So again we're going to use the content aware mode. I'm just going to increase the size of my brush and maybe harden up the edges a little bit. So I'll go and select a hard edge brush here, increase the size of that and then just brush over the lady sign. And you can see how the content aware mode has been able to recognize the texture in the wood in the background and very quickly and easily remove that sign. Let's see how it works with the light in the background here. And you can see there it's done a pretty good job as well. So quite a seamless result, very quickly and very easily achieved. 
So next time you're using your spot healing brush, try the new content aware option and see how it works with your retouching tasks.